day three in Hamburg. Very hungover today. And uh, Carl and Luke were trying to get me out of bed. They're like, do you want to go shop? No. Do you want to go get food? No. Hey Gary, we're going to go see a riot. Do you want to come? Yeah. There's all these riot police. They're at the... Uh... I think they're blocking the entrance to the underground. What did you hear from the windows? It was just a bunch of people like roar and shit like that. But then there was a bit of running and commotion. So I was in bed and then in the toilet, so I didn't no, hear any of this. No, we were in the toilet, the oh. running and commotion was happening. Okay. This morning when we were going back, we were in there. And they, the police had just arrived. They were forming a load across the road. So they've been out here all day? Yeah. Hmm. Who's this guy getting a photo taken? <laughs> We're all going somewhere. Oh, I can hear people now. I don't know if these guys are protesting or just chanting randomly. So we didn't find out what happened in that riot. Everyone kind of just disappeared off. So we're in the train station now. Getting some smoothies. This might have been something to do with what was happening. Absolute grab <laughs> Carl and Luke are in this restaurant called uh, Vapiano. It's kind of like Nando's in the fact that you go and you order your food and then they call you when it's ready mostly and they give you these like buzzer things. But the cool thing about it is that they give you these cards when you come in. Uh, when you go up and order your food, you tap this card and it charges to it. Uh, and then when you leave, they tap this card and then that's, that's your bill. So it's really good if you're in a group of people, you don't have to split bills. Uh, but it's also really dangerous because I don't know how much this beer was. I just went up and asked for a beer to charge the cart, so I can see the downside of it. But it's pretty good. The food's really good as well. It's uh, Italian food. We were here yesterday as well. That's why we came back because it's really good. If you're in Hamburg, I don't know if these are anywhere else in Hamburg. There's two Vapianos in Hamburg anyway, so there might be other places too. Saturday night on the Reaper Van is uh, it's far busier. So many more people here. <laughs> oh damn, I thought it was, I thought it was, yeah, that was, that was me. <laughs> There's a lot more people on the streets. Bars are way more packed. Um, we're going to a Christmas market of a sexual variety now. So stay tuned for that. This is the red light district. You can't see down it. And you're not allowed to have phones out down there apparently. So they put up these walls so people can't peek in, I guess. Is that, that kind of what it was? Yeah? What happened when you went through the red light district there? <laughs> uh, I got water thrown at me and uh, a lot of pointing, staring and poking the window telling me to get out. Because she's a woman. <laughs> she's like a vagina. <laughs> so it's, I actually got splashed. <laughs> Like I, I don't want to, I don't want to shit on anybody's job, and they're working right now, so make it easy as possible for them. So, so. yeah, as if you're trying to their jobs. We're at a Christmas market. Boom. It's supposed to be uh, adults themed, I guess. <laughs> We've got these artisan dildos, which are made by this lovely family. All handmade on a lathe. There's a dog who will tell your fortune. 
pretty cool. We're in a queue for something. We're not really sure exactly what it is. But uh, seen yet to be over late this too, could so. be some clue as to maybe what it is. Not really sure. But it's a bit cute. Old wine. There's a pharmacy. There's a. Merry Christmas. How's your smoke? <laughs>